when I first went to the doctor, I didn't know anything was wrong with me. Uh, I was right around 37 years old when I first discovered that I had hypertension. They did say all along hypertension is a silent killer. I, I didn't know, but I wasn't feeling well. And then a lot of times I played sports and uh, when I get, uh, if I was hand catching, I'd get up, sometimes my head was dizzy. High blood pressure, also known as hypertension, is often linked to chronic kidney disease because extra pressure on the walls of your blood vessels can damage the nephrons, the filters in your kidneys. High blood pressure and its effects on the kidney can lead to this horrible cycle where the kidneys are damaged more from the high blood pressure. The kidneys uh, elicit certain hormones that can make the blood pressure more difficult to control. Injured kidneys can often lead to worsening blood pressure or the medications not being as effective. For most patients, a blood pressure of less than 140 over 90 is acceptable, and that needs to be what their blood pressure is consistently. Uh, anything much higher than that is not going to be protective enough for the kidneys over time. There are some very important things you can do to control your blood pressure and slow the progression of CKD. Work with your health care provider to develop a plan to check your blood pressure at home each day. Maintaining a blood pressure log is something I would recommend to patients of mine uh, regarding uh, adequate control of hypertension as well as prevention of worsening chronic kidney disease. And the reason I say that is because we as physicians see patients once every two, three months. And that one blood pressure reading doesn't give it justice. So somebody who takes their blood pressure at home when they're at rest and relaxed every day at the same time, that log tells us volumes. While the one reading in their office visit could be falsely elevated because of nervousness, um, and it may not actually indicate how severe or non-severe their disease is. And the home blood pressure monitoring information is used by the clinician to figure out is what we're doing adequate enough. Are they on the right kind of blood pressure medicine? Are they on enough blood pressure medicines? Do they have times in the day where their blood pressure is too low? And basing blood pressure management on just a single office reading uh, is not really the, the, in the best interest of the patient or uh, the provider. You need more information and the home blood pressure monitoring gives us that information. Work with your health care provider to find the right medications for you. We often have to work with patients with medications, side effects, cost of medications is, is a big issue, and what kind of uh, lifestyle the patient can successfully lead with their multitude of diseases. Talk to your health care provider about what level of exercise is right for you. I was blessed with hypertension at age 40. So I had a preceding history of that and I continue to this day. I'm very well medicated and it's very well controlled. I maintain an exercise program. I do a little iron pumping, but that's about it because my neuropathy in my feet keeps me from walking large distances. Exercise will often lead to weight loss, which can be helpful with blood pressure control. For people that have high blood pressure, we typically recommend a lower salt diet. Lower sodium diets tend to allow blood pressure medications to actually be more effective in the kidneys, and that's one of the reasons we, we recommend that. There's a lot of cardiac reasons to also perhaps strive for a lower sodium diet. Talk to your healthcare provider about decisions you can make to control your high blood pressure. It could make a big difference in your health. For more information about hypertension and CKD, visit the websites on your screen.